hey beauties welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome in today's video we're going to be talking about the new spring dior collection because i picked up some stuff so beauties if you want to see what i picked up from the new dior spring collection keep on watching okay beauties as you guys know dior has literally just dropped their spring range so i'm going to show you guys what i picked up this is my packaging i literally ordered these lipsticks as soon as it dropped i did not want to wait i personally do not actually own a dior lipstick and the funniest thing is that i was going through my collection and i'm like looking charlotte tilbury pat mcgrath and natasha denona lipstick um hermes and you know just other lipsticks but i don't actually own any dior lipsticks i was like wow you know what I was like, you know what, let me get something from there. Since I haven't, you know, ordered anything from Dior lipstick range wise. So beauties. We are going to be looking at the new lipsticks, guys. But before we do get into the packaging, I'm going to do some little reading up so you guys are fully aware of what you can expect. This is the new Rouge Dior New Look Limited Lipstick. So they actually came out with four shades. Right now there's only four on there. They retail for £39.50. You have a 100 nude look that is described as a nude velvet finish. You have Icon, a rosewood with a velvet finish. You then have the Iconic 999, the red Iconic red with a velvet finish finish and you then have the transparent lip balm yeah so we're just gonna get right into it guys these are the lipsticks oh actually tell a lie i do have one of their lip glosses but i'm not a fan of their wand because their wand is so small so i'm not really a fan of those but anyway yeah we got the lipstick guys we'll do icon 720 so this is the packaging so this is the new limited edition packaging that dior has come out with this is the new look edition, the long wear. Oh, so it's actually rechargeable slash refillable, obviously refillable. Well, that's good. At least you don't have to keep spending so much, but can we, hey, can we look at the packaging? Can we look at this packaging? Is this packaging not amazing? Now, I personally did only pick up two lipsticks from Dior because the eyeshadow palettes just didn't, grabbed my attention i saw the pink and i was so close to picking up that kind of warmer orange shade but i was just like there's no need i don't need it the blush stick the balm i have not heard good reviews on that so i simply made a pass the nail varnish i go to the nail shop and get my nails done so i wasn't really that amazed personally by the spring dior collection it, it, it just didn't personally do anything for me it didn't wow me but the Chanel one did. You guys know, out of Dior and Chanel, you guys know I'm a Chanel girl. I will buy the Chanel makeup and they're actually gonna be dropping two collections. I did see their spring collection and they're gonna be dropping um, some lip balms or something. But definitely gonna get those, couple of those. The blush, definitely gonna get. And then they're gonna be coming out with a limited edition star collection. And I think with that, I think that one they're coming out with a blush as well and some lipstick. So there's gonna be a lot of Chanel on this channel this is a luxury beauty mm, some high-end but i do like you know the luxury makeup not to say that i'm bougie but you know sometimes i like the best of the best so yeah we got a lot more makeup coming back to the dior <laughs> so yeah guys oh this packaging is nice though i'm not gonna lie oh this is supposed to be icon wow okay I need to see how this is described as because this looks like a red oh i don't know how i feel about that color though mm, i don't know how i feel about that still on um, this is very soft though from the first swatch that lipstick is so soft like that is velvet icon is described as a road with velvet finish okay um i'm gonna put them on first on their own and then see how they look but also guys do take a closer look because that is how the embossing is this is really nice you can see they took the time with the detail with the lipstick and it just looks so good and the packaging is really soft too you can tell that they really did take the care and if you look closely it says dior on the lipstick too we're gonna put that one straight on to see how it looks but i'm a bit nervous on that color though because me personally, I do not like rosewood colors. Like, it just doesn't 
I don't like it but you never know I may end up liking this so I'm gonna put it first on its own and then I, as always I do have my matte chestnut lip liner there just in case I need to just fix it up I probably will need to Wow, I am literally amazed from the first touch with this lipstick. This is so soft. It is just got me like, whoa. This is soft, but I'm gonna add my matcha stop lip liner to see how it looks. Me personally, I'm not that crazy for the colour, but this will obviously look nice in the holiday time. It's definitely so soft, creamy and buttery. This just feels so luxurious. It's crazy. I mean, it's cute. I like it. You guys let me know what you think. Okay, guys, it's left a <laughs> stain. So... I might try my best to get it off. So we're going to get on the next shade. And this shade is called 100 Nude Look. Ooh. So again, it does have the same packaging. This packaging is lovely, by the way, too. I love this. And then you look on top. This is Christian Dior. Now, this is more of a nude, if I'm right. Yeah, this is definitely more of a nude. Yeah, so that's definitely more of a nude. This one I think I'm gonna like. So let's get that on. So I have just lightly put it on because I'm gonna put my lip liner on. But just to give you guys a quick look, that is how it looks. Definitely more of a pink to me. But this is nice. Ooh, this is nice. And it's so soft too. I'm gonna to go on ahead, put my liner on. Ooh, yeah, this is nice. This is nice. So those are the two colors I picked up. Okay, beauties, my final thoughts on the new Dior lipsticks. These are nice. I'm not really a fan of the red, but I can definitely see that I'll be able to wear it. Now, this nude shade is nice. This is definitely pulling more pink, so just be aware if you do want to get this shade, this is the shade 100 Nude Velvet Look, but definitely pulls more pink on me, so just be aware if you are like me and you are someone that does have a warmer skin tone, it may pull pink on you. Obviously, if you are on the more of a lighter spectrum to me, it may pull maybe a more of a brown shade, it may pull a peach shade, it just really depends because of people's skin tones and skin complexion. So just because it's pulling pink on me, it may not pull pink on you, just make you guys be aware. But this is nice, this is so soft like Dior has really I'm pleasantly surprised because obviously I'm someone that not that doesn't have Dior lipsticks but this is a really nice velvet lipstick it is soft to the touch like it just feels really good on the lips it kind of actually feels like I'm not wearing anything I only know I'm wearing something when I look in the mirror because I have my mirror just here but as I'm looking at it even close up it literally doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything 
but it feels good i like this feeling this is nice because it's not really all the time that you do want to have a lipstick and you can feel it but this is really light as a feather so beauties those are my final thoughts on the new dior lipsticks didn't really go crazy on this collection because a lot of it didn't really grab my attention but the chanel one now i am going to be picking up things from chanel so if you are whether you are a chanel lover or a dior lover i'm gonna be getting my hands on those new chanel collections so do make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel and i'll definitely be seeing you guys again soon bye